Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm quite excited to share with you this very interesting new project called as Harbor. This Harbor is an open source toolkit designed to simplify running and managing LLM backends, APIs, frontends and additional services using Docker. Now why this is needed and what exactly this project is doing is the topic of this video. Plus we are also going to install it locally and then I will show you why it seems so interesting. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Coming back to this harbor, let me try to explain with this diagram which they have shared on their GitHub repo and I will also give you the link to it. So there are two reasons why this seems so interesting. First, convenience factor. Secondly, workflow or setup centralization. If you are comfortable with Docker and Linux administration, you likely don't need harbor um, per se to manage your local LLM environments. But if you don't want to tinker with Docker containers, uh, for example, if you want to run things like front ends, like open web UI, liber chat, Holama, and various others, and at the same time, you want to integrate them with your LLM backends like Olama, Lama.cpp, VLLM, and then you also want to integrate with them a uh, meta search engine like Seer, XNG, Langfuse, Light LLM. You would have to <clears throat> manage all of these containers separately and then you have to make sure that you do the integration. But if you just want to do it with one command, then this is where Harbor comes very handy. Harbor is not really designed as a deployment solution, but rather as a helper for the local LLM development environment. It's a good starting point for experimenting with LLMs and their related services. And of course, if you are comfortable with running this open web UI with Olama, for example, with Seer XNG, then <clears throat> this Harbor CLI is not mandatory, but I think it is a very good option if you just want to keep things simple with one or two commands, you can just set up your whole system and then you can easily bring it down to. So this is where this Harbor CLI becomes a very handy. Let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. So I am running this Ubuntu system, Ubuntu 22.04, and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. And let me create a Conda environment with the name of Harbor, and I will keep everything separate there. And you can see that Conda is created. Let's git clone the repo of Harbor and CD into it. And that is already done. Now, one prerequisite which you need to have is docker so make sure that you have the latest version of docker installed i already have it if you don't know how to install docker please search the channel i already have done the video around it now let's also create a symbolic link which is just a link to harbor's cli so i have just created a symbolic link with the name of harbor so that instead of typing this whole harbor.sh i will just type, type harbor and it is going to trigger the harbor Let's also source our shell so that all the settings which we have done become active. Now let me create the clear the screen and now let's play with this harbor. So first up, I'm just going to run this command harbor up. What this command is going to do by default, it is going to spin up Olama, which is a default LLM backend and open web UI, which is a default front end. Both configured to work together. Olama is going to use our local cache which is already available. So let me press enter here. First time it takes a bit of a time. So let's wait for it to pull everything. And by the way, if you are not aware of what Olama is, what this front end UI is, these are the separate components, the LLM front ends and back ends, where back end means that how the LLM is downloaded and then it's run locally, whereas front end is some simply a GUI on top of it. I already have done heaps of videos on all of these LLM front ends and back ends, so please check the channel. 
Okay, so everything in the harbor is created and started. And I would suggest when this is this happens, just give it a few seconds so that everything becomes uh, ready. And then next up, simply run this command harbor open and it is going to open it in the open web UI in your browser integrated with Olama. And as soon as I have run it, it has opened it in the browser. First thing we need to do is to create this um, account. So this is all local. Just click on sign up here. Just give it any name. I'm just going to call it Fahad and then maybe I'll just use my own email. It's a public knowledge. So let me also put it here. And I'm just going to say here. Any password should do. And then create account and then not now. Yep, just say okay, let's go. And then I am already logged in. So just select on the model because there is no model. We have just recently installed it. But if you look uh, at this interface, it's a very typical open web UI interface, which is a very, very fine, lightweight GUI on top of Olama and few other llama.cpp stuff. And then you can just simply click on plus icon here where you can add multiple models or minus to remove that. And if you want to access a model with the Olama, either click on top right on F or whatever your name is and or at the bottom left. So just click here, go to settings or admin panel and you will see that there are a lot of options here. If you click on admin settings here on the left, click on models here. You can simply pull any model, for example, you can say Mistral colon 7 billion or whatever the model you like and then click on this download icon. It is going to download the model from Olama's website. And then you can select that model, even you can delete the model up to you. And of course, you can select any model of your choice from Olama.com. You see that it has al already downloaded the model. It is verifying the checksum now and it will keep you updated what is going on with that and you can see that the model has been successfully downloaded so if you click on this drop down you will see that which models are there for example we have mistral at the moment and we have llama 3.1 so you can select either one of them you can select this and then you can select your system prompt or whatever you want to do and then there are a lot of other stuff which you can set here and then you can even go with audio for the TTS models and you know this is uh, not related to Harbor but this is a general setting of open web UI let's save and exit and then in order to go back to your chat just click on this new chat on that um, top left and then from select a model you can select your model maybe Mistral 7 billion and then you can just start chatting with it or whatever you like to do. So this is simple Olama and all that sort of stuff. So it is just trying to, you know, give you whatever you like. So it is just using your local Olama model. And this is how simple it is to use this harbor. You don't have to worry about all the installation of Olama and then open web UI and their integration. All you need to do is to just simply do harbor up and it is going to bring it up. And if you want to stop everything, simply type harbor down and it is going to stop all the containers and they, it will be removed. And there you go, all cleaned up. Also, this is not just about Olama and Open Web UI. You can even play around with CRXNG, which is a meta search engine, Light LLM, VRLM, and a lot of other backends and front ends with very, very uh, ease. So really good stuff. I think um, more and more tool would be integrated with it. Things are becoming way more easier to install and configure as you can already see. The real good project. I will drop the link to it in video's description. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.